Local 24 News reporter Brad Broder has got a closer look. He is live on Mud Island tonight to continue our live team coverage. Brad, uh, don't see the water that high very often. No, you don't, Richard. And as you can see behind me here at Harbor Town, the walking trails and other nearby trails completely underwater. As experts say, about 75% of this flooding water conditions coming from that Ohio River systems. In situations like these is why the flood reduction system with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers is so important. Underneath the I-55 bridge, the mighty Mississippi shows off its power. Today, the river crossed into moderate flood stage, and in the days ahead, it's expected to reach its fourth highest level on record. It's a real, real dance to, to keep up with this. That's where this crew and others from the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers come into play. They're spending 12-hour days closely monitoring their system of levees, flood walls, and pumping stations in both Tennessee and Arkansas. It's a good time for us because we know that we're doing good. And uh, you know, we know it's clear that the taxpayers' dollars are being spent wisely. While these Memphis area teams are feeling okay about their containment system now, they're still concerned for another potentially higher level of flooding coming downstream the Mississippi in the spring. A concern that we have is all the snow that's still up in the uh, northern part of the United States, uh, a big snowpack. So uh, another six weeks or a couple of months from now, when all that melts, if we have a big bunch of rain systems that come through, we could be back in another uh, flooding situation. And speaking of rain, Richard, the rain is coming down now again. Certainly, we don't need any more rain with this uh, flooded river situation behind me. In 1928, one year after a major flood here in Memphis, the Congress passed the U.S. Flood Control Act. Since then, $4.3 billion have been invested, and experts tell me for every $1 spent, $14 worth of property is protected. Reporting live at Harbortown in downtown Memphis, Brad Broder, Local 24 News.